Hey all, Oshman Snako here with another figure review. This time we have the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Bumblebee Baby. Uh, figured I'd do him next as he's like the fan favourite. Uh, what can I say about this Transformer? He's an awesome Transformer. Um, he's actually, this mould is actually the reason I started collecting Transformers Prime. Um, I got a blue one. I don't know who it is, I think it's Hotshot or something like that, um, for my nephew uh, for his birthday. And then, you know, I had a quick tinker with it. And I was like, whoa, these are actually really impressive. Um, and it's just from that one figure is what stemmed my curiosity and my like to actually start this entire thing. So, pow, I got this guy. Well, actually, I didn't get him for a while. I got a few others and then I got him. I can't remember what order, but I don't remember I didn't get him straight away. Um, so onto the figure. Um, he's got some nice um, details. He's basically a simple yellow plastic all over apart from his doors, his back glass, his roof is actually blue plastic with painted yellow. And I don't know how well it's coming over on camera, but to be honest it's quite obvious to the naked eye that they're different tones. I think that's coming over quite clear actually. Um, detail wise no real paint apps whatsoever apart from the black lines. Uh, these should be silver. Uh, these should have like colours. Same as the back should have colours. Um, absolutely nothing. Which is a shame to be honest. Um, I've noticed that with these Robeson Skies, the Hasbro, I think it's Hasbro make these, have, are a bit lazy um, when it comes to like the paint applications and things like that. Having said that, uh, the transformations for the Robots in Disguise vehicles are like a lot easier and this one I believe is maybe the easiest transformer deluxe scale that I've ever seen. Um, it is crazy, crazy easy. So before we get into that, let's go over a few size comparisons. Here he is next to the uh, Transformers Prime 1st edition Bumblebee. Uh, this is I believe a Comic-Con exclusive, I don't actually know, I got it from eBay. But it's the 1st edition mould. Um, and as you can see this one has quite a bit of height on it. If I actually hold him like that, you can know how well you can see that. And it's got quite a bit of height on him. Um, also, he's just generally a big car. If I put him to the back like that, you can see that this one is definitely a lot bigger. Um, Grab an also in vehicle mode. What I've been using for my uh, main size comparisons is we have a Viacon. Um, I think he uh, actually fits in quite nicely in scale with that. They're very, very good. Do stand up again. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't actually have any other vehicles transformed right now apart from that. Um, so. You know, you don't need to say it's, it's a great, great scale. Um, so let's go on to the transformation and then we'll go to his accessories. As you can see, he can go into uh, weaponized vehicle mode. They just simply peg onto the engine block there. So that's pretty cool. And we'll go over them in a minute. So to transform this bad boy, it is, like I said, ridiculously easy. You simply grab this panel here, just under the door here, and pull that. That just tabs in just there. Kind of want to just push it in and pull it down. That's his arm. In and down. And there you go, transform. No, I'm joking. Uh, then grab the doors, bring them out. And then detach the back glass from the boot. Just like that. They're just two pegs, they go in those two holes there. Then there's a hinge here, bring the whole thing down at that hinge. Okay, then you want to accordion the roof up and back. And then you want to fold in the back glass all the way in. And then you want to bring that down to about there for now. And this is the nice simple part, which is awesome. You go up in, your thumb's in there, so on this part here, and just pull them out. And the hinge on here, and there's Bumblebee, baby. What that does is it brings the head out, and it also angles the uh, chest part, so they're at a bit of an angle. Then when you've got that, there's a little peg here, which goes just above his butt. Just in there. Line that all up, and that keeps that nice and rigid. Uh, you don't even have to separate the feet for this part. Bring this down, pull out the knees. There's a hinge about here, so that's where it's pivoting from. And separate out the ankles. And ladies and gentlemen, Bumblebee. Uh, who's been a bit tipsy. There we go, stand up straight. 
Uh, he does have light pipe in, which is very nice. Um, again, I still can't find my torch. Um, begin to give up hope that I'm ever going to get it again. I've got a lighter here, but I'm not going to try and put a lighter behind the toy. Um, whoa, whoa, drunken boy. Uh, let's go over a quick size comparison. So I'm going to put it into back. I'm going to pause it and transform that one because he's a bit more complicated. So back in a sec. Okay, and we're back. Um, so as you can see, the first edition now transformed along with the Robots in Disguise edition. Now, my personal preference is the first edition. Having said that, the transformation is a lot easier with the Robots in Disguise. Um, but I generally prefer the look on this one um, and the scale in the robot mode. But I put the scale in the car mode for this one, so <laughs> kind of a bit of a catch-22. I would personally go for this one if you had to choose out the two. But having said that, I would happily accept this one as my Bumblebee for my collection. Because like I said, this one is just such an amazing figure. Um, so if you can't get hold of this one, as he's very hard to find and he's going to be ridiculously priced now, this one is an absolute substitute. It just really, really is a great, great figure. Um, so let's get a few of the size comparisons in. Here is the Viacon, which I'll be using for my size comparisons. And as you see, there's pro here's Prime. And yeah, I guess that'll do for now. So, as you can see, Prime towers him as usual. So, this is the Voyager First Edition Prime, Voyage, uh, Deluxe First Edition Bumblebee, and then Robeson Skies Viacom. So, it fits in really, really nice with all of these, these figures. So let's get all these guys out of the way, and let's uh, go over this guy's details, and then we'll go over his accessories, thanks, articulation. Okay, so, zoom. The head sculpt is blurry, there we go, the head sculpt is actually okay, it's not terrible, I think you could definitely do a bit more paint apps, um, you know, I'm not even sure, yeah. Just, that is actually painted. I wasn't sure if that was a separate, separate piece altogether there. But no, um, it's kind of hard to show the details. The yellow is kind of very reflective. He's got some like lines going back here, a little kind of crest inside there. Uh, nothing really in the mouth, and like these face panels just there. So it's okay. This is actually slightly custom, I forgot to say. Uh, originally, the head sits about there, which to me is a bit ugly. What I've actually done. Is I saw a video online where is if you if I go this will do it's my paint mixer if you just here uh, you cut it off basically you have to undo some bolts in here uh, and I'll try and find the link for the video um, and you have to be careful when you put it back together it gives you to line all the cogs up and all you do is trim away that little part there and that's it that's all you have to do and then the head it just sits so much more flush with the body that looks so much better so that's actually really good so it's not a major custom and it's very simple to do um, he's got his little shoulder pad arm guards here and nice little kind of like angled with the chest plate here a uh, little bit of like the workings in his abs it's very hollow that is one kind of gripe I have about it <clears throat> most people complain about the hollowness of these figures and Bumblebee is no exception I could probably fit my so I'm not a big fan of that, but I believe the other one's not that much better. Um, nice detail in the feet. His feet, I should not actually be this big. The wheel in the in the real in the show actually goes under, like where his ankle is. But there's actually kind of a sculpt of a wheel where it should be. So that should be black, and that's actually where the wheel should be. I don't know why they can't do that. It wouldn't be too difficult to put a little hinge on there, but hmm, you know they've got to keep cost down, I guess. Keep these things simple because they are for children and us big kids. Um, so it's got some nice details. The back is literally just a roof, so that's all you get from there. It's okay. Right, the articulation. The head is on a ball uh, head going into the neck, so he can pivot from here to where well, that's what you're really getting from that. Bit side to side, and yeah, we can do a full 360. So that's pretty cool. Uh, be careful when you move it, because like I said, that flap will move. It's not actually locked into anything, it's just been held by friction. Uh, the arms are hinges just here, so they can go up as far as they can go all the way around. There you go, I thought they actually got caught on something. No, they can go all the way around. The shoulders can go out to there, they pivot just there. 
the pads are independent so they also pivot so you want if you want to keep it flush you have to keep them there uh, I believe I played around with gluing them in place but I don't think you can because of the transformation I think they get in the way I think I'm not too sure on that I might have another look at that uh, there's a bicep swivel just here sorry a bit out of camera here so you can rotate now the um, spike on his arm guard actually catches on the wheel if you do that so you have to kind of bend it to get it all the way around which isn't the end of the world. Uh, the elbow is on a ratchet and it doesn't want to go back, which is good. So just ratchet forward, which is 90 degrees, so that's good. And unfortunately, there's nothing else in the, the wrist or the arm or anything else. So that's all for the arm. Nothing in the abs or the diaphragm. And then he's got T-cut hips, which can go as far as that's his Spartan, which is quite nice. And whoa, that's his split, which is quite epic. Uh, I believe there is a thigh swivel, but I've glued mine. So it does swivel at there, but I've glued mine because I'm not a fan of that joint. And then we have a bend of 90 degrees at the knee. And then he has kind of like a point here where this nut is, a screw is, and a point here where you can bend the, the foot and the ankle. But that's kind of part due to transformation. So you can kind of get him squatting if you really want. Um, if you try and hold, if you do that all the way back as far as you can and then angle it. I tried doing that but this bit here gets in the way of the foot so you can't actually go straight down and that's just my cat scratching on a scratch post um, so that's his articulation right accessories out of the way I've moved it too far back now okay all right it comes with these twin blasters and they are quite nicely sculpted have some nice detail there we go zoom uh, some nice little workings there no paint apps whatsoever just a solid grey uh, no like even sparkle or anything just a simple grey so a nice bit of paint would do them a wonders um, and they've got like a big hole which they shouldn't have but they have that so you can uh, like I said interlock them for vehicle mode so you can have that sitting like you saw at the beginning of the video uh, they fit in the pegs on these pegs here, these holes here. So I'll do that and then I'll sort the focus out. And they fit in quite snug. There you go, one. I lost it. Two. Now you got Bumby with his blasters. Um so yeah, I don't know what else I can really say about them. They're pretty cool. The one good thing about this, these blasters is they also fit on oh, this guy. And uh, I'll come into that when I do my video on him next. Um, and he fell over. Anyway, let's transform him back, which is also really simple. So get rid of these. Okay, so to transform him back, clip his feet together. Bring the toes to the knees. And that puts that all flush there. And that's the feet done. Unclip the uh, window from the roof from his uh, just above his backside. Just do that. Bring that panel down there. Bring the shoulders in together, and that will automatically do all that. And if you've done the custom, you kind of have to push that down a bit more. There you go. Bring the roof um, accordion up and then on into position. That just lines up there, doesn't actually clip in, just kind of leaves it there. Then bring on this hinge here, this back, and then them two pegs going into them two holes. Put that all down, like it all nice and flush. Close the doors, and then line these up so they're facing like you're trying to hold on to something. And then just bring them up and just kind of push them, that peg into there. They go in very easy. Line everything all up nice and tight, as you do with most transformers, and there is Bumblebee back in his vehicle mode. Like I said, one of the easiest transformations I've actually ever seen in a deluxe class uh, transformer. I can't think of a simpler one. And just quick show you this again before I end this video. Put them on top of each other, and they just go in this little hole here on the engine block. And there is Bumblebee in his weaponized vehicle mode. If you see this guy, pick him up. There's also, like I said, the Hot Shots version, and there's now the Beast Hunters version, and there's probably about a thousand other versions, as you do seem to get about a hundred copies of Bumblebee. I'm not quite sure why he is the fan favourite, but 
I don't say I don't like him. I do like Bumpy. He's not my favourite Transformer. I just would like other Transformers besides Bumblebee in different scales. Like a nice scale. Ratchet would be nice. Or an Ironhide. Or... I don't know. But unless you're Bumblebee Optimus Prime, you seem to get a thousand Transformers. But, you know, supply and demand and all that. Anyway, enough of me ranting. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As per usual, comments below. Please subscribe. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.